Horticulture, Landscaping and its Principles At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Landscaping Describe the Principles of Landscaping Explain the Elements of Landscaping Getting Frustrated by Work Stress What Strikes Your Mind During Such Situation A Movie Shopping Or A Walk in the Garden Well, it would definitely be a pleasant place like a garden that can help in relaxing your mind. Everyone loves to play in the garden during our childhood days. At adulthood, we prefer a garden for morning workout and casual meetings. Finally, during the old age, we love to walk in the garden for breathing fresh air and to overcome our health issues. Although we wish to spend time in a garden, most of us just admire its beauty and only very few are involved in gardening activities. In any case, creating a simple, beautiful garden is not a big deal. In fact, we can create our own garden even in small spaces such as terrace, backyard, etc. The only thing is you need to be aware of the simple concepts associated with landscaping. And this is what we shall discuss in this lesson. Interesting, isn't it? Let's move on. Landscape generally denotes a piece of land with a combination of both nature and culture. The process of designing a piece of land or making it more attractive by modifying the existing design or adding new ornamental features is known as landscape designing. The principles of landscape design include background, simplicity, contrast, balance, open center, repetition and rhythm. Background It is important to design the background of the landscape in such a way that it doesn't distract the main features of the garden. Hence, it is necessary to have a background with neutral featured elements. For example, light colored walls and ordinary trees. Simplicity it provides both design and art in the landscape. The designer has to decorate the garden with simple things. For instance, use only two or three colors as repetition all over the garden. Contrast. The design of the landscape should break the theme of monotony. Hence, the design should comprise different forms, textures and colors that create a difference. Balance. It is necessary to maintain a balance among the different components of the garden. In the case of designing formal gardens, balance can be attained in terms of quantity or the number of objects. While designing an informal garden, you can achieve balance in any form of arrangement. For instance, you can grow some bright colored flowers before plain plants to induce balance. Open center. Basically, the central part of the garden acts as the center of attraction. A perfect way to obtain this is by creating a large lawn at the center of the garden. Moreover, instead of placing specimen shrubs in the center, tall tree with wide spreading branches is considered to be appropriate. Repetition. Proper repetition of the elements helps in maintaining the rhythm of the garden. In case of a formal garden, repetition is not an issue as the elements are already repeated. However, in an informal garden, the color factor of the elements can be repeated without disturbing their quantity and texture. For example, if the garden has a circular path, the center portion can be occupied with three or four concentric circles of flowers and hedges. Rhythm. It helps to reduce confusion in the design. Assembling the elements without prior knowledge and plan may affect the beauty of the garden for sure. Specifically, harmonious lines with artistic curves maintain the rhythm of the landscape. Moreover, proper repetition of the few elements with slight modifications can enrich the beauty as well. Moving on, let us discuss the elements of landscaping. There are four major elements in landscape designing. They are line, form, 
color and texture. Line. Lines can be created as horizontal, vertical, diagonal and curved. The design of the line should highlight the surrounding objects as well as the focal point of the garden. A garden path with direct roots emphasizes boredom, while a route with the meanders attracts people, providing a pleasant surprise in twists and turns. Form Forms have a close relationship with different dimensional objects. Plants are of different forms, such as round, upright, spreading, etc. These forms add various benefits to landscaping. For instance, a round plant provides a cozy natural feel, while an upright plant provides more rigid and formal visual. Color Color plays an important role in landscaping, as it enhances the visual attraction of a landscape. The color themes are applicable both to the landscape and hardscape, which refers the man-made features such as paths and walls. Red, yellow and orange belong to the warm color panel, while blue, green and purple are grouped as cool colors. Thus, the combination of both warm and cool colors creates visual enrichment to the landscape. Texture Texture in garden denotes the visual texture of the plants and not the feel of touch. Every element being a plant or a pavement, has its own texture. Variation in texture enhances the interesting factor of a landscape. Besides, texture plays a major role in design composition. Therefore, the landscape elements should possess a wide range of textural attributes, which includes the size and shape of leaves, flowers, barks and stems. Apart from these major elements, there are some minor elements that have to be considered while designing a landscape. They include stones, lights, paving, tiles, concrete, fountains, lawn furniture, gazebos, etc. Hence, proper planning of landscaping elements delivers pleasant and appealing gardens. Let us conclude this topic by highlighting some of the uses of landscaping. Landscaping provides various benefits to both the people and the environment. First and foremost, it tends to enhance the beauty of a house, thereby increasing its value. Landscaping helps to keep the environment pollution free, thereby ensuring a healthy environment. It helps in maintaining temperature and thereby enabling us to stay cool in summer. It serves as the best means for relaxation and recreation. It helps in reducing soil degradation and soil erosion. Summary Well, that has been an interesting lesson about the horticulture, landscaping and its principles. Let us do a recall of what we have studied so far. Landscape denotes the land with a combination of both nature and culture. The process of designing a piece of land to make more attractive and appealing is known as landscape designing. It is necessary to maintain a balance among the different components of the garden. Landscaping elements include line, form, color and texture. 